and he's a Republican. He's Republican conference chairman, of course, and he's number three in the leadership. Mr. Pence, there's no one's career I like to follow more closely than yours because you passed up a chance to be uh, the nominee of your party for the United States Senate and would look like a very good opportunity to become a United States Senator this year. You are, there's word out there that you may not uh, be running again for leadership. Uh, are you going to be one of the real beneficiaries this year of this uh, good year for Republicans and come out of this with a bang and run for president? Well, look, uh, we'll, we'll let the future take care of itself. I think for now, uh, here in Indiana, we're, we're very encouraged by some of the, the early returns. And, uh, but I, I, I want to say right out of the gate, Chris, uh, look, I, I, I don't think this is so much a victory for any political party this evening. I think it's a victory for the American people. Uh, I think the American people uh, grew frustrated with runaway federal spending and a tone-deaf Washington, D.C., really under both political parties. And uh, they showed our party the door in 2006 and again in 2008. And I think what's happening across the country today is really the American people reasserting themselves into the process. Uh, Republicans, independents, many Democrats are just saying enough is enough. We want to send a new generation of leaders to Washington, D.C. that are going to going to take the priorities of the American <coughs> people, fiscal responsibility, personal responsibility, and, and put those right back in the center of our national government. Let's talk about the first 100 days should you take control of the, uh, of the U.S. House of Representatives, which of course originates all the tax measures and, uh, and many of the spending measures through the appropriations process. What would be your down payment to the Republican voter watching tonight or the fearful Democratic progressive voter tonight? What do you expect to give the voters tonight for voting Republican in the first 100 days? Well, look, uh, I, I, I think there's nothing more important right now than doing everything we can to get this economy moving again. And, and if Republicans are given a second chance uh, to lead our national legislature tonight, I think you'll see uh, immediate action on making sure that no American sees a tax increase in January, not one. Uh, we'll also look for additional tax relief that will encourage the kind of capital formation uh, that will jumpstart this economy. Right. Then it's about fiscal discipline. Then it's about repealing and replacing their government takeover of health care. But, you know, as I was working the polls today in Newcastle and Rushville, Indiana, uh, you know, there's a lot of families hurting out there, Chris, and they, they really know the last thing we want to do in the worst economy in 25 years is let taxes go up on anybody in the city or on the farm. And uh, I think you'll see Republicans get right after that issue and then deal with the larger issues and the larger aspects uh, uh, that, that have uh, drawn millions of Americans out in these midterm elections today. Uh, thank you. That's big news. Tax cuts first goal of the Republicans. Thank you, Mr. Pence, for Where's joining us news? tonight. Where's the news in that? Thank you, Chris. Yeah. There's no news in that. That's all they do. That's all well, they do. Well, there, there was, there some, no just to make the point, I think it's a somewhat beneficent because it's going to be done a lot of people, are, a lot of people are in the Republican Party uh, of the more further out wing are saying their first goal is to uh, repeal health care. His is to cut taxes. I thought that was interesting. That's going to be done in the lame duck session before they even get to the next. There's also one They're going to what? It. Eliminate? They're going to, they have to deal with the tax issue before you get to January 1st. And so the... Answer this, though, and I was going to ask the congressman this question. What would, it, practically speaking, how do you repeal the health care reform? Well, notice what he says. When, well, all right, but how, he, he said repeal. And replace. And replace. And replace. How, how do you do that he, without a president? But how does he do anything if you don't have That's enough to override, override, to override a veto? So the pressure, it's all academic right. in the House. If they right. just have a Republican House, a Democratic Senate, Democratic President, they're just going to, all they'll have an opportunity to do is pass something that's academic that will not go anywhere. If they don't do repeal, clean repeal, mm -hmm. the Tea Party revolts. Their replace piece, when they say repeal and replace, they mean to replace 80% of the Obama bill, right. all of the heavy insurance regulations they intend to replace according How to their own statements. do you do that without <laughs> an override of a veto? Wouldn't the president no, well, it, use a veto in any, any, any repeal bill? In these bill? situations, the House passes bills, just yeah. like cap and trade. The House passed cap and trade last year, nothing happens. Right. That's what you're going to see, a bunch of cap and trade style bills pass the House. If that, because why take the risk? This is your problem you have when you only have the one body. Why take the risk on any kind of risky vote if the Senate's never going to take action, if right. the president's going to veto it? So they may be paralyzed on their own terms within their own party. I so, 
I, I was just going to say that, I, Chris, I think that was important when you pointed out what are you, what's your down payment going to be to Republican voters or to mm -hmm. fearful Democratic voters mm -hmm. voting tonight? What are you right. promising to do? I think it's going to be important to watch them on social issues. Mike Pence, in particular, has been one of these conservative Republicans this year who's very ambitious, who's been promising that social issues are not off the agenda, that abortion is still central, mm -hmm. that civil rights issues, being against civil rights issues, is still central to them. And I think it'll be interesting to watch whether or not they actually take these pointless mm -hmm. symbolic votes in the House that don't go yeah. anywhere on social issues as a way of continuing to freak out okay. Democrats. There, 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 and there, is also, there is also a long tradition, though, of Republicans taking social conservatives for granted and uh, giving lip service to their issues. So to defend now, my, my argument, my, my defense of uh, the, have I, a goal here is to make news, trying to find news tonight. It seems to me that if a, a guy like Mike Pence, it was so politically smart, gave a response to someone like me in this network to soften the blow. We're not going after health care first thing. Our down payment is tax relief for everybody. And then it is capital formation, which means tax breaks for business. That's been my assumption for a while. That what they're really going to try to do is push the fiscal stuff and stay away from the social. That's and what they really want to talk about. That, but that, when, that, when they're right. talking to their own people, all they're talking about is abortion. Uh, well. Look at Mike Pence's address to the Values Voter Summit. Look at the people who are doing these Family Family Research Council prayer events. Look at these people who are unwill, who are who are totally happy to appear with this guy like uh, Engel and these Patriot pastors and these no, guys who are driving a, a to the right of Falwell that, agenda. I think Ronald Reagan taught them all a lesson: stick to the fiscal. Chris, That's I think when they're talking right, to us, they do. Right. I, I think you're right that Mike Pence is the kind of politician who would like to play it safe. I don't think the Tea Party is going to let them right. play it safe. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The polls in Indiana close at the top of the hour, all of the last of them. Also, Georgia and Kentucky, South Carolina, Vermont, and Virginia. And if you don't think that matters, there's 15 bellwethers from our calculations at, at NBC News just at 7 o'clock, 14 minutes hence. And also before that time, Chuck Todd will join us for another look ahead at the Senate races tonight, including the two big ones that close in 15 minutes in Indiana and Kentucky, as MSNBC's coverage of election night 2010 continues after this. It's always easy. But when we understand what's happening around us, we lose our fear and we move ahead. After all, we were built to evolve. We were not made to sit still. Naturally colorful vegetables are often a good source of vitamins, fiber, or minerals. And who brings you more natural colors than Campbell's Condensed Soups? Campbell's. It's amazing what soup can do. I got a little leaf on my Ancestry.com family tree. When I clicked on it, I got a hint. Then another leaf, which gave me another hint. I'm like the family detective. Visit Ancestry.com right now and discover the world's largest online family history resource. Sure, I'd like to diversify my workforce. I just wish that all of the important information was gathered together in one place. Done. Thanks. Do you work here? Not yet. From tax info to debunking myths, the field guide to evolving your workforce has everything you need. Download it now at thinkbeyondthelabel.com. This Friday, I smell a hero. It smells fishy to me. One mega comedy will make you laugh <laughs> until you're breathless. <laughs> oh, can you believe this guy? DreamWorks Mega Mind in 3D, rated PG. You better run to Men's Warehouse. Suits are on sale, including designer brands and big and tall. Buy one and get a second suit for just a hundred dollars. You're gonna like the way you look. I guarantee it. What does it take to excel in today's business world? Our professors know because they've been there and they work closely with business leaders to develop curriculum to meet the needs of top businesses, which means when our graduates walk in the room, they're not only prepared, they're prepared to lead. DeVry University's Keller Graduate School of Management. Learn how to grow the business of you 
at keller.edu. Doing whatever it takes to respect our customers' homes. Just one more way Charter is obsessed with serving you better. Bailey's invites you to enjoy the seasons ahead. Enjoy fun and functional clothing that reflects a northern Michigan attitude. Blending modern trends with classic ingenuity, perfect for the active lifestyle. Clothing that has quality and durability, while adding color, spark, and pizzazz to your wardrobe. Bailey's has a fantastic selection of clothing for work, play, and everything in between. Since 1876, Bailey's of Sutton's Bay has been a destination for fine classic clothing clothing and the tradition lives on. Bailey's, a clothing destination for four generations in the village of Sutton's Bay. The poll closings within 10 minutes now. 7 o'clock Eastern, Georgia, Indiana, Kentucky, South Carolina, Vermont, Virginia. We hope you're able to characterize many of the key Senate races in those uh, states at that hour, not before. In the interim, let's go to Chuck Todd, who again is covering tonight's election by the numbers to look forward to two of those keys, the Indiana and Kentucky Senate closings at seven. Chuck? Well, how are you doing, Keith? Well, look, I'm gonna show you here, we have a, a, a little bit, these are all the Senate races up 37 of them a ton this year because there's a bunch of special elections for all those appointed senators, by the way, who got there because of jobs in the Obama administration. And, and we can go along here and show you the path to 10 if Republicans are going to figure it out. It starts with the first four that they believe they'll have in the bank, and that's Indiana, uh, that's Arkansas. My apologies here for touching. That's North Dakota right here. And then there's Wisconsin. Wisconsin's one that Republicans and Democrats are feeling pessimistic, Republicans feeling optimistic. Then they have to, their next three would have to be uh, Pennsylvania, Illinois, and Colorado. Those have all been very close races, but they would expect the wind at their back. The question is, that's seven, where would they get the other three? Well, they're counting on three places to do this, three of the four that they would need to do. At 7.30, polls close in West Virginia. I think we're going to get a good idea there. They would need that one if they would have a realistic chance. And why do I say that? Because the, the next three where they would have to win two are Nevada, California, and Washington State. California and Washington, very blue states, as we know. President Obama spent a lot of time there over the uh, last month trying to shore up both Barbara Boxer and Patty Murray. And then Nevada, when you talk to both Republicans and Democrats, they will both agree on one thing. The single best get-out-the-vote machine, the single best ground game in the country may be Harry Reid's in Nevada. Now, he may be very unpopular right now, but that would be a reason why that, that could stand in the way of Republicans getting a 10th seat. So that's one way to look at the path tonight, but the first place to look, 7.30 tonight, Keith, West Virginia. Chuck Todd, by the numbers, no touching. Thanks, Chuck. Our first <laughs> results of the night coming up at the top of the hour uh, when the polls close in Kentucky and Indiana. And again, we mentioned Georgia, South Carolina, Vermont, Virginia. We're going to get as much business done out of the way so we can get you those results at the stroke of 7 o'clock, 7 minutes hence. Stand by. While riding his bike, my 8-year-old fell off and broke two permanent teeth. Our dentist said we could come by his house since his office was closed for the weekend. And that night, he was able to treat my son right in his own kitchen. I'll admit, I haven't seen a bill. But with service like that, I don't care how much it costs. Save money and time by choosing health professionals you can trust. To see reviews from consumers near you, visit Angie'sList.com today. Trouble, 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 trouble. Trouble, bad dog in my soul since the day I was born. to things you care about. Leave nothing to chance. Travelers, take the scary out of life. The Vanilla Caramel Latte from Maxwell House International Cafe. The 60-calorie way to stop your world. Your favorite food's fighting you. Fight back fast with Tums. Calcium-rich Tums goes to work in seconds. Nothing works faster. Tums, 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 tums. I love my grandma. I love you, grandma. <laughs> 
Grandma just makes me happy. To know, know Grandma is the bestest. To the total package. Love, love, that was cool. Way cool. Grandpa spoils me. What a 